So I've got both sites ready, domain one and two. The first will be the site we wish to migrate from and the second with a fresh WordPress install. Now, I'll be assuming you've already installed the only one WP migration plugin on both sites, while also assuming you've exported and downloaded the file you wish to migrate to the fresh install. And since our main concern is importing the file without getting stuck, let's take the route of uploading the file we just downloaded to the second site's public HTML, which is practically where all your website files are. Now, while it's common practice to head to the website cPanel to upload the downloaded file, we can also approach this using a plugin, just so we get to upload the files right within our website dashboard. So, hover over plugins to add new, and let's search for file manager. And we'll be going with this with over a million plus active installs. Install and activate. And once that's installed, hover over this to select file manager. And you would probably be greeted with this welcome message. I will just go with no thanks and change its theme from default to black. Now to upload this file, let's open up wp-content to select ai1wm-backups. And then upload the file you just downloaded from the first site into this folder by clicking on the upload file icon. Select files and let's select the backup file. And you might just have to give it a minute or two to finish the upload. And of course, that depends on the file size and your internet connection speed. All right, so successfully uploaded the site's backup. And when I hover over this to select backups, we should see the file we just uploaded. Now, one of the restrictions with the recent update of the free version of this plugin would be not being able to use the restore feature. But in a moment, we get to change that. So that brings us to the next step, which is installing a previous version 6.7 of this plugin that once allowed us to use the restore feature. The link to this you can find in the description. And once you're redirected here, select code to download the plugin zip file. Head back to your website and let's upload to install the plugin we just downloaded. Now, before activating, it's best to deactivate and maybe delete the updated version you currently have installed and then head back to activate version 6.7. Once that's active, let's again hover over this to select backups. And lastly, select the restore button. Proceed to confirm your request and just give it a couple of minutes to finish the import. And that's pretty much it. Let me know if this worked for you in the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.